Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cats on Film Pod. I'm your host, Ray Island, here with my co-host, Skipper. Thanks for joining us every Tuesday as we review cats and film. There will be spoilers. Today's film is A Whisker Away. The English language dub for this animated Japanese film came out on Netflix in 2020. Let's recap. The skinny Japanese girl in her early teens named Mio... <laughs> yes, kind of like Meow. Well, Mio meets a trickster who sells her a mask that transforms her into a small, white-furred, blue-eyed cat. As a cat, she's able to spend time with the boy she has a crush on, Hinode, who doesn't like her in her human form. I mean, Mio does have a big personality, and Hinode just wants to keep his head down and feel quietly sad about his dead dog. It's a creative way of rehashing the identity mix-up plot that so many romances rely on. Well, Shakespeare's Twelfth Night to start, and in the first film we reviewed for the pod, Keanu, Jordan Peele and Tiffany Haddish's characters start off lying to one another about who they really are. And there's any Cinderella or superhero story, and about half of all Hollywood rom-coms. Oh, yes. Back to A Whisker Away. Instead of pretending to be a long-lost sibling or mild-mannered reporter, Mio pretends to be a cat, and the mask seller encourages her to make the most of it. You really should have gone to Hinode's place. You would have gotten to spend more time with him if you had. No, I haven't even wiped my butt. Cats don't use toilet paper. We just go... It's eco-friendly. That is totally disgusting. You'll have to learn to be more open-minded. You should be enjoying living like a cat. This would all be such a waste if you don't. Hinode naming her after his dead dog is rude, even if he thinks she's the dog's reincarnation. True, she has few feline behaviors. Even a human comments on it. She never grooms herself, or sharpens her claws for that matter. What a strange cat. Mio is going back and forth between cat and human, but the mask seller wants her human face permanently to swap for another cat's face. Would you ever want to live as a human, Skipper? <coughs> Not even for an hour? <coughs> I think it'd be nice to be a cat for a little while. <laughs> Don't worry, I wouldn't eat any of your food. And I would definitely turn back into a human, even though being a cat is probably pretty awesome. <coughs> the one cat we see in the film who puts on a human mask is Kinoko, the pet of Mio's stepmom. Kinoko pretends to be Mio so she can become her cat mom's human daughter. <coughs> yeah, it's sweet that she's willing to give up her cat life in order to spend more time with her cat mom, even if she has to do it in a human body. One of those sympathetic antagonists. Yes, she ends up doing the right thing, particularly after seeing how upset her cat mom is that Kinoko's gone missing. And then there's Cat Island. I was not expecting old-timey humanoid cats and kimonos and such. <coughs> oh, I hadn't thought of that. But there's that human cat bar where the humans who turned into cats hang out separate from the others. And for some reason, all these cats walk on their hind legs and wear clothes while hanging out in the sacred tree city. Good point. There aren't many cats just wandering around the city outside of Cat Island. Maybe that's part of why people are always so excited to see Mio in her cat form, because all the town's cats are either on Cat Island or have turned into humans. I wouldn't want to live in a town like that either. But Kinoko finds Mio on Cat Island and they swap faces and go back to their usual lives. It was fun to see Kinoko and the human cats team up to attack the mask seller. They're a total super team together majorly heroic. Back in the human city, Kinako is reunited with her cat mom, and Mio and Hinode are more emotionally open and truly understand one another at, like, 13. Plus fireworks because romance. <coughs> we know there are humans who regret running from their problems to become cats, but we don't get to see the cat-to-human side much. Yes, Kinoko definitely regrets it when she sees how much her cat mom misses her. I got a little teary-eyed when they were reunited. <coughs> Absolutely. Anything else? <coughs> okay, what's your review of the feline representation in A Whisker Away? <coughs> Three paws out of four. No live cats were harmed, and they depict felineness well. But the residents of Cat Island are too human-like. Thank you for listening to Cats on Film Pod. Know someone who loves love? Share this episode with that romantic. 
Cats on Film Pod is voiced and produced by Ray Island with the music by The Dose Man and additional sounds from freesound.org. Get access to exclusive bonus content and support Skipper and Ray at pod.fan slash catsonfilmpod. Cats on Film Pod.